morning everyone it is the first day in weeks that i've actually managed to get up to the plot and this is the first free weekend that i've had in about a month and thank god it's actually a lovely day it was raining yesterday so the ground's nice and soft and it's sunny today so that should keep me warm uh yeah i've not been up here for a while now it's uh it's definitely overgrown. All of the mowing that I did a few weeks back is obviously grown back. Got quite a lot of grass actually. That would be nice to, if I can keep the grass just on the paths, that would be quite nice to keep. These guys, believe it or not, are garlic from last year. But they're growing as like a whole bulb on its own, so there's like six bulbs or something growing side by side. Not quite sure how they're going to turn out, but I'm just going to leave them. So yeah, the plan for today is actually just to dig. The only thing I managed to do a few weeks back was buy 15 bags of compost. And I got them all up here and then dumped them. And that's it. That's the only thing I've done. So I think the plan for today is mow all of this again. Get it all back down to pretty much bare ground. Uh, tidy up a little bit, you know, pick up all these these little bits of plastic, bits of netting and uh, yeah I need to do some setting out so where where I've got two 1.2 meter beds and a 2.4 by 2.4 meter that's the plan so like I'm going to have like small bed, big bed, small bed, big bed this is already a small bed it was dug out where the um, where the corn was last year this here is actually a big bed which is where I had the melons growing last year and this here was going to be two small beds but you can see this chicken runs there which will eventually become my new shed because the shed is totally falling apart and the actual I do have a plan for just this area here so like maybe I don't, I don't think it would quite be 1.2 meters but maybe like a sort of two-thirds uh, bed but I'm planting asparagus there I've bought some uh, I bought some asparagus crowns and I'm going to get some asparagus growing in front of the greenhouse so that should be nice uh, update on the tree it's flowering you know I did, I did exactly it's doing sorry it is doing exactly what I was hoping it would do I've cut it all back this guy here is completely new this grew just out at the end of this branch here it's got some nice leaves on it so this is completely new growth that won't produce any fruit this year but because I've kept all this stuff this is maybe well this this will be over a year old and this is probably coming up to being a year old but you can see those flowers on it and in theory those flowers should turn into plums if they get pollinated so yeah I'm happy with the I'm happy with the plum tree it's actually doing all right well I definitely need to call it quits with the chilies <laughs> in the greenhouse I mean these guys are just listen. These guys are just dust now. Um, I'm not too fussed because from these two plants I managed to get loads of seeds last year. And so I've uh, I've actually got six of each of those plants growing. Some I'm going to put in here, some I'm going to put in pots. And maybe a couple I'm going to give away to people at work. The potatoes are actually growing. So these were my super duper crazy long potatoes that uh, grew in the cupboard at home I just threw them in here to see what they would do and uh, yeah they're, they're growing, they're growing some leaves so I'll just leave these guys to grow until I need to put something here whether it be chilies or uh, you know like courgettes or something like that because the courgettes did really well in here last year I think they like a bit of heat I did kill, well I didn't specifically kill it, but my mint plant has obviously died from being left in here over winter. And I just remembered Fada's dad gave me some mint and I've left it in the flat. So yeah, plan currently, get the lawnmower out, get it, get it going, mow all of this, rake it all up, and then set out and start doing some digging. As I was leaving the flat, I, uh, I was just walking out the door and I thought, Oh, I need to go back for my tools, I'll go get my tools. So I went back in the flat and I was walking back to get my tools. And I had to stop and convince myself, do not pick up your toolbox because 
I know I'm here to cut the grass and do some digging. And if I bring my toolbox, I'll get caught up doing other stuff. In fact, for example, a little panel of the roof has fallen in. I'm not here to do that today. I'm here to do some digging and some mowing, mainly digging. So I had to convince myself not to bring anything to distract me. <laughs> than last time. That's just a little bit. I'll get on with the rest of it. Get back to you when I'm done digging. I'm oh, sorry, when I start digging. So, mowing there, I've just realized something about the first beds that I've set out. So this is a 1.2, this is a 1.2, this is a 2.4, right? And on the garden planner that I've got, I've spaced them so that there's about 600 or so between each, between each bed, because the original plan was to put timber around them, yeah? and mark out all the beds and make it look all nice and icy. I've realised though, I can't get a lawnmower down here. So I think I might change the setting out so that I can at least run the lawnmower down here and get most of the weeds cut. And then I can go back and do the other ones by hand if I have to. But yeah, that was a bit of an oversight. In fact, to be entirely honest, I didn't have the lawnmower when I set this out. So, plans have changed and I'll, uh, I'll space them out just a little bit more so I can get the lawnmower down there make things easier for myself it's looking good though so I've mowed everything back down to bare ground I'm going to tidy up this pile so this was when I first got this plot that was a big bonfire that I had and the stuff that didn't burn ended up just turning into a trash pile and I've just been throwing all my crap on top of it so I need to get this area tidied up this isn't going to be moving anywhere anytime soon, so I'm going to need to skip a couple of beds, start round about here, and then dig my way up. But these ones here, I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see. So like, this is the path, and this here would be the bed. And again, this is the path, and this big area here would be the bed. So this side has already been been dug over. That's, that's got a bed, it's had compost in it, the soil is good. I just have to start on the on the other side and get that up to scratch but I will probably dig this over and put a little bit more compost in it just so that it's good for for growing again Farah's dad gave me these big ton bags when I went up to help him um, move the stones in his front drive so I've got these to put a whole load of crap in so that's my plan tidy up I have to say I do find composting really interesting so like I said this was a bonfire and I threw all sorts of crap on it, like mainly big logs and like old wooden planks and things like that. I had the fire, stuff, some stuff didn't burn, it then rained for god knows how long and I've just left it as a pile and as I said I just keep piling stuff on top of it. But see now that I'm digging into it, like 
as much as there's obviously still some crap in it and there's some big pieces that haven't um, like decomposed yet this is a pile of like pretty good soil and that's literally just from dumping all the weeds and you know grass cuttings and logs and sticks and stuff on top of each other and leaving it for you know the best part of a year and a half it's so crazy you just you leave it for over a year and it just turns into something useful you know so i'm actually kind of hoping that when i do dig this bed it's probably going to grow pretty well because it's had all this stuff sitting on top of it so yeah i'll clear it out i'll get rid of more of the you know get rid of some of the plastic that's in it and some of the bigger sticks as well and then when i dig the when i dig that bed i'll just dig it all in i might not even have to add compost to that bed so yeah really cool i've snapped my fork yep trying to get a stubborn nettle out of the ground snapped it clean in half that'll need some repairing thankfully i'm pretty much done and uh, most of the digging I'm going to do is with a hole and another fork. But yeah. Oh well. Actually, I don't know if, if any of you know this. This is a fork. The fork head I found in the ground as I was digging here. And so the, uh, the attachment and the handle I've made myself. And it's been a really, really good fork actually. It's great for picking stuff up. Like see, see like this kind of stuff. Like picking some nettles and, and junk and le leaves actually. Loads of leaves and twigs off the ground. It's a fantastic fork. So I will be fixing that and reinforcing it and making it better. I just stupidly put my entire freaking hand into these nettles and it really hurts. Also, teeny wee spider. Came out of nowhere, probably just to laugh at me. Uh, well, I have a whoppa 2.4 meter stick and a whoppa 1.2 meter stick. Whoop, 1.2 meter stick marked at 550 also, and 550 is the width of the lawnmower. So 1.2 will be the spacing for the small beds, 2.4 with the spacing for the big beds, and 550 with the spacing between the beds, and 2.4 is the depth of the beds. Let's go! I did mean to say I picked up some uh, Picardy white uh, garlic. Um, these grew really well last year, but also I've kind of missed the boat for garlic this year. So this is kind of the uh, one of the very few varieties you can actually plant at this time of the year. I don't know if you know garlic generally needs a cold spell so you want to you actually want to plant garlic in autumn and it will go through winter plant it in winter or plant it like early spring and this is probably one of the few varieties that will plant late spring and it will still be cold enough for it to um for it to grow so yeah i missed this slot for garlic a little bit this year but it's fine this should give like i don't know 15 bulbs of garlic and it's really good as well this picardy white is some nice stuff it's kind of funny when you buy garlic in the shop, you just go to the shop and buy garlic, it just says garlic. But when you want to plant your own garlic, you kind of have to think what type you want to grow. And it's probably something that you've never really had to think about before. What type of garlic do I actually eat? Don't know, it's just garlic. <laughs> There's two wee flies that keep landing on me. They're kind of golden in colour and sort of fluffy. But, like genuinely they keep landing on me and then flying away. Let's see if they land on me again. I can hear it, you can see it. No idea why. They just won't leave me alone. I swear I don't smell that bad. All right, so I hope you can see my vision. Path right up the middle. Just going past the greenhouse, past everything. This will eventually be a bed here. This probably won't be a bed, it'll just be where I kind of keep some stuff. You can see the two posts here for a small bed here, but I've got some garlic and things growing, so I'm not going to dig that just this second. I can maybe dig half of it, but not all of it. And then you can see here I've got marked out a big bed and a small bed with the path in between big enough to fit the lawnmower. The other beds, you can see where I've got posts on the ground there. I'm going to have to move all of this before I dig any of it. So this will be another little path here. This will be a big bed, and then that will be a small bed, similar to that one. So I just need to get digging. 
the way I've found easiest to dig these out, since obviously I did some last year, is that you dig a row of this out with the shovel and put it all to the side, yeah, so you've got a trench. And then I use the big hole and a hole here and pull it back and over into the trench and then the next step, pull it back and over, next one, pull it back and over and keep turning it back on itself. And then eventually you get to the end and you've got a trench at the end and you can fill that back in with the stuff that you took from the other side. So it seems to work pretty well. I'll set up the camera and do a little time lapse of actually digging one out and we'll see how it goes. Just like that, the whole way across. been here since about 10 o'clock. I said I'd leave about 3 and that's half 2 now so by the time I do tidy everything up and put everything away I'll be about 3 o'clock I'll be heading home. I've got, suppose I got, I did get like 70% done of what I wanted today which is a good thing but uh, still not as much digging as I was hoping for. I forget just how much hard work it is. So I've managed to dig out entirely the 2.4 meter and the 1.2 meter, so those two that I actually set out earlier on. Um, the 2.4 wasn't too bad. You see this one here, again, where that pile of, of stuff was, it's so matted with nettle leaves. I mean, look at the pile that I took out. And these things, they just, they literally just create a, a solid barrier, like even, even hitting as hard as I could with that hole. It just was not even breaking through the roots. It took so long just to do this, this small bed. So they're dug over currently. Uh, what I would do if I was staying for longer or if I had more energy is actually break up all of these clumps, rake out the weeds and some grass and stuff like that, which is already still in there, and then put the compost on top and mix the compost into the soil. But uh, the, the soil is actually... So it's, it's clayey here, and because it's wet, it's really quite sticky. And so, I mean, you can see it's like stuck to the shovel, stuck to the hole. So anytime I was just even putting the shovel into the ground, it was getting stuck like Excalibur, you know? So this is all dug over. I think I'll wait for till we have maybe a couple of good warm days, and this dries out a little bit. And then I can just hit it with my fork and uh, break up all the clumps and try and just make things a little bit easier for myself because it's so tiring I genuinely forgot just how tiring it is but yeah so there'll be there'll be another 2.4 here and another 1.2 there and there will be another 1.2 there uh, space for my barrel and logs compost and then another I don't know, maybe like two or something like that towards the end where the barrel is. And that should do me. So 
This is Doug, I'll get it turned over. This is Doug, I'll get it turned over. I need to put the hut up first in the new shed before I dig all that stuff. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. I feel like that was quite a productive day today. So, go home, get showered, chill out, have lunch, and just relax.